What's going on everyone? I'm here at Castle Hayne Park and today I'm going to give you a real world example of how to break a hole down and to better your chances at scoring a birdie or par. So hole 11 at Castle Hayne is a par 4 coming in at 472 feet in the original position probably closer to 520 in the long position and currently everything's in the long position. Now there are two main methods for how to break this hole down. The first conservative method I like to use is to put a placement shot out into the open area. The second is to throw an aggressive backhand flex line that'll get you closer to the re-entry into the woods. Now as you can see this looks like it's a really tight corner when in reality it isn't. If you just move over to the left hand side of the tee pad, you'll actually see that you can see the re-entry into the woods, which is about 350 feet away. Now, I personally like to use a patrol and understable mid to get me to my next landing zone. So I'm gonna show you that now. So where my drive landed is actually a little bit shorter than where I would have liked to have ended up. However, I have a nice clean open shot to get to the basket. Now I'm going to go with another mid range. The Emac Truth is one of my favorite mid ranges of all time. So it'll fly really straight how I want it to with a little bit of finish. I don't want it to go too far left, otherwise it's going to end up in jail. And I definitely don't want to go too straight or too right, otherwise it'll end up out of bounds. So as you can see, this is where our second shot landed. It was a little inside of where I would have liked to have thrown it. But honestly, this is a really good spot to be. The only danger is if it rolls away to the right and goes out of bounds. I'm right outside circle one. I'm actually going to do two shots here. One where I try to make it and one where I lay up. So first we're going to lay up. All right, that's a really easy tap in. Now I'm going to try to make it. And that was just way off to the left. But with the layup shot, we have a really easy tap in where we try to run it. It's still a little tricky just because it's slightly downhill, but it's still very makeable. And here's our tap in par. Not quite a tap in par. So I didn't get the birdie today, but the main thing is I threw shots that I knew I had the highest percentage of throwing. An easy backhand hyzer flip, an easy straight shot that naturally wanted to finish left, and the putt was a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but still runnable with very little danger. The key to this is breaking down the hole into shots that you are most comfortable throwing, along with your highest percentage shots. Now I can throw that aggressive line, that aggressive flex line, like I mentioned, back at the tee box. However, the danger of that is it drifts too far right and if it even finishes, will put me in a bad position, blocked by trees. Maybe it goes OB on the road, but either way, it's a high risk, little reward for me shot. The little backhand hyzer flip with the mid, that's a high percentage comfortable shot for me. So I hope that some of this advice and real world breakdown helps. Maybe it'll help you break down a hole at your local course. Anyway, until next time, have a good one. Mm -hmm.